Hello everyone, welcome to this new video about MLflow. In today's video we are going to see how to log images using the MLflow API. Uh, the code that I have prepared for this video is a little bit more different, it looks more complex, but this is because I want to give you an idea an idea of how we can integrate uh, MLflow inside actual machine learning code. This is, a, this is of course a very, let's say, simple example, nothing complicated, but at least you have an understanding of how we can, let's say, use MLflow with scikit-learn and some classes from this popular framework. So let me walk you through the code so you can have a better understanding of this. So the classes that I am importing from scikit-learn are make classification. This class will help me to create an artificial data set, train, Test split is going to help me to split the data into training and testing data. Random forest classifier will help me to, to create a dummy model. And then we have some metrics. Precision recall display, ROC curve display, and confusion matrix display. These classes um, will help us to create to calculate and plot um, uh, this, this matrix. Um, Precision recall, ROC, um, confusion matrix. So the first thing that I'm doing here is um, getting the experiment. This get, get MLflow experiment, uh, retreats an experiment, an MLflow experiment given the name. In this case, uh, the name is testing MLflow1. Then I am starting an MLflow run using the experiment ID to tie the uh, the run with experiment. Here I am creating my artificial data set using make classification. Then I split the data set into training and testing data. Um, after that I am creating a random forest classifier. I am training the model using training data and get some predictions using dot predict. Here is the interesting part. Okay, once we have our predictions, we can calculate some matrix. Uh, the first thing that I'm doing here is creating an object called figPR uh, using Maplitly. So basically, this is a figure object. Um, then I am using the method from predictions to create the precision recall display, to create a precision recall curve, right? So I only had to pass my predictions and the ground truth. Um, this access uh, here basically I'm passing the argument PLT GCA. This is basically get current access, meaning that this class precision recall display is going to plot or to create the image using this uh, figure object. Uh, then uh, this is the new uh, part about MLflow. Uh, we can use a method called log figure from MLflow to look figures. Uh, as we can see here in the documentation, let me, um, it, su it supports uh, Maplotly objects and Plotly objects. In this experiment, we are working with Maplotly objects, as I mentioned before. So this takes two arguments, the figure, in this case is fig PR, and the artifact file. In this case, is uh, well basically the name of the file precision recall curve dot png, and we are doing something similar for the ROC curve and the confusion matrix uh, image. So let's run this code and see what happens. Python. Okay, everything seems okay. Let's run the UI. Here we are in the MLflow interface. Um, let's open the latest one. And here we can see the three images, the confusion matrix, precision recall curve, and ROC curve, dot PNG. So with this API, uh, we can also create, let's say, a folder structure if we want. For example, let's say that we want to store all these images under a folder called uh, metrics 
well we can add that folder as a part of the path the artifact file so let's run this let's run this code again just let me open a new command prompt and let's check the interface the latest one okay here as we can see in artifacts we have created a folder called matrix uh, under which we have a confusion matrix the precision recall curve and ROC curve well uh, that's everything for this video thanks for watching it and see you in the next one